Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Chandler Garcia, a developer advocate here at Salesforce. And in this video, we're going to continue on with our Lightning Web Component Fundamentals and talk about the Track Decorator. So let's go ahead and get started. Just as a recap, in our last video, we talked about how decorators are functions that we wrap around our properties that replace, associate, or access the value that's being decorated. To use them, we just have to decorate the property using the at symbol and the decorator name in front of a property or method. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the track decorator. This is used to observe changes to complex objects and arrays. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I thought we didn't have to use the track decorator anymore. Well, you'd be partially correct. In the Spring 20 release, we made it so that most properties are tracked by default, making them reactive. Now, you can see in this example, we have a lightning input field that's tracked by the value change of the first name property. When that value changes, the property in the HTML template is automatically updated without us having to track the property. However, if we have a complex data type, like an object that has been predefined, you must still add the track decorator for it to be responsive. For example, if we want to store someone's first and last names in the same object, we must track this in order for the UI to respond to those changes. Another example would be an array that has already been instantiated. When modifying the object, we must also track it in order for it to be observed. For example, when adding objects onto an array. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can achieve this in VS Code. In this example, we're going to create an item list that we can use to add items into the UI. We're going to start out in the JavaScript file of our Lightning Web Component. The first thing we need to do is import the track decorator from LWC. Next, we're going to create two properties. The first property is going to be our item list. We're going to go ahead and instantiate this as an array. The next property we want to add is for our new item. This new item we're going to take and then add into that item list each time we want to add a new item. Next, let's add a handle change method that we can use to update the value of the new item property. We're going to pass in the event so that we can then assign this dot new item to the event dot target dot value, which will be the value of that item in the input field. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our add item method here. And what that's going to do is take that new item and push it right onto the item list. That way we then have an array of all of our items. Let's also go ahead and add a console.log statement here so that we can log that output into the console. Over in our HTML template, we have a lightning input component that is taking any changes to that field and passing them into the handle change method. We have our lightning button that's going to add an item into that array. And then we have an iterator that's going over our item list and rendering any items in our item list into our component. Over in Salesforce, you can see our item list component. So let's go ahead and add a few items onto our list. And as I add them, you can see I'm modifying the list, but nothing is appearing in the item list. However, inside of our console, we can. So as I continue to add items, you can see it's logging that array in the console, but not rendering it in our component. This is because we are not adding the track decorator to our item list property. So over in VS Code, let's go ahead and just annotate that item list property with the track decorator and deploy that. And then going back into Salesforce, let's go ahead and add some items. We've got our item one, we can add that to the list. And there you go. As we're adding the items, they're now appearing in the item list in the UI because we have enabled it as responsive through the track decorator. And so hopefully now you have a better idea of how to use track decorators in your components. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at stefanwcg on Twitter or directly at stefan.garcia at salesforce.com. Thank you for watching this video on JavaScript decorators. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the Salesforce Developers YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified each time we post a new video.